What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Glenny, aka Entertain Bro. And today we are starting a new series, of course. I know. I shouldn't have told you this. I should have told you this like during the channel update. But but right now it's called Let's Talk Entertainment. Now you know my channel name is Entertaining Bro, of course. Um now we are going to talk about the latest the latest uh, movies and uh and uh, like all other videos including like, nba videos or something like that and uh, we are going to talk entertainment about it so uh for the first episode of this we're going to be talking about thor ragnarok now thor ragnarok as you know is one of, is a hit after the last two thor movies the last two thor movies were a little bit poopish now what i mean by poopish is that you know like it's not really that formatted you know the whole romance with jane foster and thor everything they're just sitting in the side of this movie and talking about you know the funny part you know what i'm saying it's like all comedy but i'm but for all of you who hasn't watched this remember my slogan if it's not entertaining go to the other one go to the other video or watch another one i don't know but I watched this, I watched this, um, I watched uh, Thor Ragnarok, like, two, like, two weeks ago, or one week ago, like, when it came out, and it blew my mind away, like, wow, this thing is gonna be a hit, so, like, now it's, like, 93% Rotten Tomatoes, and the other two movies, like, the first one's, like, 77% Rotten Tomatoes, the second one's, like, more crappier, like, 66% Rotten Tomatoes, but, you know, but, this movie stands out. Like, I thought the other directors, besides Taika Waititi directing the Thor Ragnarok, would be such good. Like, when I watched the other two video, the other two movies, um, it's not that all entertaining, you know. But this, this, however, the most entertaining part is Hulk, Hulk and the comedy. Of course, Hulk. Uh. You, you you don't if you haven't watched Thor Ragnarok or if you have watched um, Captain America Civil War you will find out that Thor and Hulk are not there and what happened was Hulk got uh, like escaped from the Quinjet I think and um, Thor went back to Asgard but you know just got gets thrown in this trash and then just you know does whatever he thinks but you know then he enters this enters this contest of champions with this uh with uh, the grandmaster of course played by an awesome uh, actor and of course he meets this uh stone-faced guy korg and uh yeah like and also Val valkyrie now and that's where the story takes place like uh for the trailer i've kind of wish it was more surprising because like if you if you haven't put that hulk in the trailer then like it's not it's not really that good if you have put the hulk in the trailer but if you haven't it would be amazing if you just saw it in a movie and you're just gonna be surprised and stuff like that like oh my goodness oh my goodness i just know this guy man. i just like i just like i didn't even notice like but instead, they just put four in the trailer. Of course, Taika Waititi is a very smart man. He's very uh, funny, of course. But they should have just put, like, they shouldn't have just, they should have just set Hulk aside and just focus on the trailer before putting Hulk in, in the trailer. But of course, uh, they had to do what really does just surprise their fans and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah. Now, what do I think about the villain? The villain, <sighs> the villain. Kate Blanchett is a good actor, so well, actually a great actor. So I like her. Not really like her, but she she's a great actor. Uh, but yeah, my sister's right here. Yeah, but um, you know what? I'm back over time. Yeah, almost still. But stop. But. You know, it's just all that simple. You know, I feel like Kate Blanchett hasn't got to be the villain. 
she uh, he she wanted to be, but you know she was a very good part of the movie. She was a very good part of the movie and set the tone for the movie. Now of course, <laughs> Cord Cord the screen stealer Cord. Remember Cord from Thor Ragnarok, stone face guy. Of course, Cord and Meek. Those guys, Meek Mill, not Meek Mill. Those guys are like, you know, the screen stealers. You know, the funny guys. You know, the most funny guys. And of course, we saw the Stan Lee cameo. So yeah. So yeah, that's going to be uh, the end of uh, my uh, review for Thor Ragnarok. Uh, personally, I think that was great. So I recommend you go watch it. So uh, see you guys and. Also, we're going to have a new series coming up. Me and my sister are going to have a new series coming up. So, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, she wants to sing, say the outro with me. So, so thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if it's if not entertaining, entertaining go, go watch, watch another, another video. video. Bye. Bye, guys.